Hello everyone, in today's video we will be talking about how we can take a screenshot of a specific window. So as you can see here, I have a window called Command Prompt, and I would like to take a screenshot of only this window. So how can we do this? It's actually pretty simple, so let's get started. The first thing we want to do is import the libraries. So import pygate window. This one will actually help us to get the information about the window, for example the window's title or the coordinates of the window. And then we will import PyAuto GUI, which will help us to take the screenshot. And we will also import from pill import image. This one will help us to crop the image so that we can take the screenshot of the specific window. After that, we will create a variable called path where we will store the image, so result.png. And then I will add in another variable called titles, call, uh, and this one will use pyget window dot get all titles. This function will help you to get the titles of all the windows of all the windows accessible to you. Now we already know the title of our Windows command prompt, so I don't have to use this function. But in case you have some problems finding the name of your window, you can use this function. Moving on, what I will do is I will create another variable called window, and in pygate window there is a function called get a window with windows with title. So this one will take the name of the window, which is command prompt. And this one will take the name of the window and it will uh, give back some information about the window, such as the coordinates. And it will give a bunch of information So we will uh, in a list. So we will only take the first element. After that, we will find the left and the top coordinates so window dot top left so the top left coordinate is this, is this one here and then we'll have right and bottom coordinates so window dot bottom right which is this one right here so now we have the four coordinates we can then take the screenshot we're using pi auto GUI so screenshot and we pass in the path after that we create a variable called im so image dot open we use open function to open the screenshot and then im is equal to im dot crop we use the crop function to crop the screenshot so we pass in left top right and bottom using these coordinates we will uh, crop the screenshot after this, we can use the save function to save it. And I will actually use the show function to show you the screenshot. So let's save this. So a quick recap is we get, if you want to get all the titles, you can use get all titles function, but I already know the titles. So I'll just use the get windows with title function as in the, uh, the window title name. I will take the first element and from there I'll get the left top right and bottom coordinates. I'll use the screenshot function to take the screenshot and then I'll open it and then I'll crop it using the coordinates and then I'll show it to you guys. So let's just run this. So as you can see here, this is our screenshot of our window. And uh, this is quite um, interesting because um, you can see that we can take a screenshot of only a specific window. But as you can see here, uh, it's not that accurate. We can still see some of the background. So I'll try to improve this. I will try to add 10 to the left coordinate because you saw that the three sides were a bit, um, had a bit of the background. So uh, the top side was fine. So we'll ignore the top side. Then from the right side, I'll subtract 10. And from the bottom side, I'll also subtract 10. Save it one, one more time. And here. Now the screenshot is more crisp, so we have uh, a more accurate screenshot of our window. And one more thing I would like to add is this code is a bit different based on which operating system you're, uh, you're running. 
Uh, so for Windows, we will use this code. But if you're using macOS, it's a bit different. So we're going to import platform so we know which um, OS we are running. So if platform.system, we use a system function to find the OS. So if it is Windows, then we use this code. All right. But if it's not Windows, else if platform.system, if it's actually Darwin, Darwin means it's Mac OS. In that case, the code is a bit different, and I will show you how to write that code. So in that case, what we will do is we will just uh, use another function. We won't use get Windows with title. We use another function. Using that function, we will get x1, y1, the width, and the height. Now, the x1, y1 is actually the le uh, top left coordinates, but we can't get the bottom left, the bottom right coordinates, but we can calculate it using the width and the height. And the function we'll use is pygetWindow dot get window geometry. And we will pass in uh, the name of our window. Now, the macOS does not have command prompt, but it has a terminal, so we will pass in this name. And now we have to calculate x2. So x2 will actually be x1 plus the width. And we have to calculate y2. y2 will be y1 plus the height. Now we have the four coordinates. We will use pi object GUI to take the screenshot, pass in the path. After that, we create a variable called IM. Image.open, we open the path. And then we will crop it. So now this is just similar to the above code. So we pass in x1, y1, x2, and y2. After that, we will save it. No, <laughs> shave it, save it. Uh, I'm the show path. Save it, run it one more time. And you can see it's still running fine. And um, yeah, this is your code here. So I'll just do a quick recap. Um, if you're using Windows, we will use get Windows with title uh, to get the top left and bottom right coordinates. But if you're using Mac OS, we use get window geometry. And we use this code to find the uh, four coordinates. Uh, sorry, we use it to find the uh, the top left coordinate and the width and the height. Using the width and the height, we can find the other two coordinates. Using those coordinates, we can uh, crop our screenshot and then we can get the screenshot of a specific window. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed, the, uh, enjoyed it. And uh, please show your support by liking and sharing it with your friends and subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions, you're welcome to comment below. And I will see you soon. Thank you very much.